Hello everyone. So, uh, had some good success on something yesterday. I'm busy building a no-cal. I'm doing a no-cal of uh, a Cassatt racer. So, for example, this is the wing for the, the model. It's going to be 16 inches, profile, tissue covered. Um, so, quite a large wing area, as you can see. And one of the things that I have to do for this is to make a motor tube. Um, or sorry, a motor stick, I should say. So this is the stick that holds the, the wound rubber motor. Uh, and so here is the one I've just made. And I'm making this video because this actually came out so well that I think uh, the technique I used is going to be useful for those of you interested in pursuing a similar type of thing. Um, so for oh, for years, I've kind of liked like no cows but I haven't done them because I've always I've been intimidated by making these darn motor sticks and um, I decided I was finally going to do one since I'm now in lockdown and I don't have anything else to do well except work <laughs> so I found some light wood so this is five and a half pound sea grain sea grain you can see that it's got this mottled look to it that's typical for quarter grain or sea grain wood um, and so it turns out I actually had some so I needed to get it down to the right thickness which is 0 0.02 inches or about half a millimeter thick uh, and to do that I basically laid my sheet of wood it would just be like you know I laid my sheet of wood on my little sanding board here so this is plate glass nice and flat uh, sandpaper that I've um, attached to the glass just by using spray mounts on the back side of the sandpaper and just laid it on here. It's four inches wide so it accommodate a four inch wide sheet. You put the sheet that you want to sand it down to thickness on there and then these, this is a 0.8 mil or 1 32nd uh, piano wire which I've just taped. That's just a bit of tape there and a bit of tape on the other end. Uh, on either side of my 4 inch wide sandpaper um, balsa sheet holding pad uh, and then to get it down to thickness you just take your sanding block this is fairly rough like about 300 grit paper sandpaper uh, on here and sand in a circular motion and just keep going until you get down and eventually you'll be touching your wire you'll, you'll, you'll feel the vibration of the sandpaper running against the wire and when I touched the wire, I just started moving in a, a, a very, very sort of steady side-to-side -side motion until everywhere the, the, the sandpaper block was running against the wire. And then I knew that I was down to thickness. And so then I measured it. And of course, with my, um, in my case, I just used a vernier scale. Uh, I measured the thickness and got, made sure that I was down to half a millimeter in thickness. So that's initially what I did to get to... Uh, thickness so here you can see the off cut so this is you can see there's a crack in it right there um, so this is the piece that got sliced off of the sheet the sheet was one and a half inches wide and I sliced off half an inch because I needed just a one inch wide sheet to roll my motor stick so here is the, the tube that I made and what I'm gonna do is show you how I roll these motor tubes. So that'll be the next video.